So this is how I traded a penny all the way up to a Tesla. Like I actually did this. But to understand how this is even possible, we'll have to go back two and a half years ago where I wanted to challenge myself. I believe that this penny right here can get me a PS5. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and found a TV that someone was about to throw away. It's a waterproof outdoor T- Huh, I think we might got something right here. And that was the first trade. Now you can probably tell that I was happy with this TV, but little did I know that this challenge was gonna take over my entire life. Because for the next month, I made trade after trade. What is the chance of you getting at $60, $80 for this? Zero. If we do this right now, I'll lick the bottom on those. How about that? We can do it. Let's go. You want to do it? This is a trade, man. Let's do it. And not just was I trading, but I got to meet some extremely cool people. Like the Drip Don. Uh, do you guys, you sell sneakers? Man, I know you, bro. How you doing? <laughs> My God, all the unboxing videos. Heck that. yeah. All, Thank you, man. This is dope. Right here for now, man. For my boy, man. You gonna do it? Already know. Yo, thank you so much. Which he's super important in this challenge because, well, We'll get into that later on. Yo guys, so I do want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Game Time. Now just the other day, I realized that it was Miguel Cabrera's last day playing for the Tigers. And well, I've been a fan of him for a while now. And of course I wanted to see his last game. Plus I wanted to be in the outfield because, you know, my boy's a home run champ. So I went online to try to get Tigers tickets and they were all sold out. So I ended up downloading the Game Time app. And we're here at the game right now. And I wouldn't have been able to experience this if it wasn't for Game Time. Now, their app is actually super easy to use. And what I like about Game Time's app is you can see a bird's eye view of where you're sitting before you even buy the tickets. It's also great for tickets right up to the start of the event. So if you're like me and you like to wait last minute to buy tickets, Game Time got you. Plus, Game Time shows any hidden fees up front, so you pretty much know what you're paying for. And it is football season, and all the Detroit Lions tickets are probably gonna be sold out. So you already know I'm about to be using Game Time this season. Now, game time isn't just great for sports, but also music and show tickets. Like, check out some of these concerts and some of these shows that we can see. But, yo, definitely go check out game time. The link will be down in the description. And if you use the code ConnorTV for your first purchase, you can get $20 off. Again, huge shout out to game time. Definitely check them out. Link in description. But, yo, let's get back into this. But I was traveling out to so many different stores, trading all sorts of different items until I think we're at the value of a PS5 right now. Kicks. Yo, yo, it's Connor. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Connor? How's it? Uh, I'm doing good. Do you have any PS5s? Uh, yeah, I think I have one or two left up here. Yo, okay. Um, I I could have something that you would want. Would you maybe want to trade for one of those PS5s? Hey, bring it in. Let's see. All right, let's do it. I'll be there in a second. All right, thanks. All right, Love perfect. All right, deuces. Let's see if he'll want to trade. Yo, I love walking into this place. What's going on, man? I'm back again, yep. This is what I'm bringing you. I know it's a small box. Not downgrading, but we're size, getting a little... Size five. Yeah. <laughs> size five off-white Vapor Maxes, DS. Would you be willing to trade these for the PS5? Yeah, because uh, my daughter could fit these. Your daughter could fit those? Yeah, I'll give them to her for Christmas or something, whatever. <laughs> let's do it, let's see the PS5. Yo, I'm so happy. Let's go, guys. Oh my God, this has been Literally the longest adventure. Oh, my man. Yo. Oh my god. Shut up. This is so crazy. Now, even though I traded a penny to a PS5, I figured I could trade a penny to an iPhone 13. So this might seem a little challenging, but I figured out that it's not impossible. And I was right. It's not impossible. Because for the next two months, I dedicated everything to this challenge. And I realized trading sneakers was the easiest way for me to trade. I'm going for 340 right now. I can take you out to lunch too if you want. What you what you want to eat? I want, I want a candle date. I want time. A candle date. I can bring a pretzel and some candles over here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Thank you, Thank you. so much. <laughs> you know what? Keep that. Sure. Keep it. Thank you. But I love getting unique items that I needed to educate myself on because it goes to show that almost everything has value to someone. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> you can go any place. This I used to use in an Italian club. I'm a member. I'm a member of the Italian club in Livo. And you know, this is my tuxedo. I used to. I used to use a dinner dance on, on Thursday. They're like Thursday is a dinner dance. Of it. But after 32 trades, we finally got the iPhone 13. And after all that time, I felt complete. Let's 
trading up to the PS5 again, we're actually going for a Tesla. Now in this series, I might end up selling the PlayStation, selling the iPhone to use that money for investments, or use that money to buy things that I could sell to make more money. Because yeah, I, I really want a Tesla. So technically we used three whole pennies for this challenge, but with close to a year of trading, we made it all the way up to $4,950 in value. And things were going great until I saw that FaZe Rug just started doing this challenge. So I thought it would be a great idea not just to trade a penny to a Tesla, but I'm trading a penny to FaZe Rug's Tesla. Now I ended up posting on my Instagram story trying to get his attention because he was somehow getting close to this Tesla within a week. Which to be honest, I have no idea how that's even possible. And yes, I'm doing this 100% legit. But he ended up messaging me back and asked where I was located. This gave me so much hope, so I tried to trade up as fast as possible. I told him I was out in Michigan and he never responded. But I realized that that was a huge mistake. Uh -oh. You're kidding me. It just doesn't look right. Really? Everything we worked on for the past like eight months feels like it's just gone. Pretty much the inside of the Rolex is a real Rolex. Around the bezel, there's real diamonds. This isn't even close to the value on what I was told this watch was worth, worth close to like $2,000. Now I tried to reach out to the people who like traded me this watch and to see like maybe if I can get my stuff back. They didn't want to do it. They said along the lines of, we never purposely scammed you. I felt like we were getting so close to that Tesla, which I'm, I'm so grateful. I don't want you guys to think that I'm not grateful for all this stuff happening because this was a journey, like literally eight months of work. But now it's just, it's just like thrown away. So I decided to take some time off from this challenge and genuinely think about what I was going to do about this. I really didn't even want to show how we got the Rolex because I never wanted to make someone's business look bad or showcase anyone in a negative way. But I felt like I needed to show this because I'm doing this challenge for real, which means I'm not faking anything, whether it's good or bad. And even though we lost over $5,000 in value, I felt extremely discouraged, but somehow I had a spark inside me that was telling me I could still do this. Even though losing more than 60% of this challenge was tough. I still tried my hardest to get out there and trade. You got a deal. 1050, the pack of all Just like that. You got a deal. It almost felt like I was restarting the entire challenge, but the amazing people that I was meeting during all of this and all of your support really helped me keep going. But after all this time, we made it all the way up to $14,435 in value. And who knows, it's possible without this happening, I would have missed out on some of my favorite memories. When you put karma into the world, amazing <laughs> comes back to you. I've been keeping a huge secret, which is the main reason why I haven't posted a trade-up challenge in over two months. Now you might already know that three months ago, the Drip Don and I opened a sneaker store in Michigan that we built ourselves from the ground up. But what I didn't tell you, I made a plan to secretly put all the cards and shoes from the trade-up challenge up for sale in the shop. This has been the biggest move in this challenge yet because once a shoe was traded or sold, I put the money aside separately and reinvested it into more shoes, cards, and clothing. Because after a month, a quarter of the shoes in the shop were a part of the trade-up challenge. I was selling, buying, trading. And when I came up with this idea to do this, we were at $14,435 worth of stuff. And this grew all the way up to $32,645 in cash. And that's more than double the value within three months. So I felt like the time was right. So I found a used Tesla through Carvana for $29,000 and... Yo guys, so we just made it here. I am so flipping excited. Check this place out. This is flipping huge. I've never bought a car off a of Carvana like ever, but like I seen some videos and like the process of like how the car comes down. My car is gonna be up there right now. The flipping Tesla is here. But yo, let's come in here and uh, we're about to finally get this thing. Also, we got mom here right now. 
<laughs> hey. She's my number one supporter. She's showing somebody my videos right now. Wade, Please it's good to meet you. you. Connor, this has been literally the longest journey ever. And now it is like finally here and it just, it feels unreal. You're good to drive your coin and bring your car back. Deal, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That was the last handshake right there of the trade-off challenge. This took 813 days to do this challenge. Penny to Tesla. I don't think it fits. I think we need the Carvana coin. <laughs> <laughs> Penny to Tesla. Yo, what amazing way to end a flipping series, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. This has literally been the longest grind that I think I've ever grinded on in my life. And it's finally coming to an end, which I'm kind of sad about, but at the same time, I'm so excited because I've done this like for real. Like every step of the way, every trade has been as real as it could be. And yo, yo, shut up. Let's flip and go. I literally paid a penny for this thing. This is my car. This is my car. This is my car. Let's flip and go, baby. I say, uh, let's take this thing for a spin. Oh my god. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> this is crazy. What is oh, god! <laughs> what up, brother? <laughs> Good to see you, bro. Listen, we've been talking about this car since like 2018. It's time. It's time. Episode of the trade-up challenge we end up meeting and now we own a flipping shop, shop together. together You're one of the main reasons why this is even possible. No, you the main reason bro. Yo, the grind don't <laughs> stop bro Thank eight. you so much this brother. Man is relentless. <laughs>